what's good everybody so today we're gonna do something way different i'm gonna actually go out to watch jose the tiger and the fish yeah it's gonna be something different i think it's gonna be like a vlog type video for once so i don't really i don't usually do that but i want to try something different because you know just a break from reactions for a bit this is technically reacting because i'm gonna tell you how i feel about it at the end but yeah um make sure to hit the sub button if you're new here and uh yeah let's go ahead and get ready Okay, so I have arrived at my location. I'm downtown. I'm very early, so I don't know if I should just go in and get my ticket now or yeah. But yeah, I didn't go with anyone as you could see. My mom was like, yo, are you going with a girlfriend? And I'm like, no. I wish, damn. Basically, I'm gonna just go in and watch it, obviously. And I don't know if I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel in my car or at home. We'll see when the time comes, but yeah. Ooh, I'm juiced. I've never gone to the movies alone, by the way. I'm a little paranoid, but I don't care. Yo, so I just saw the film, yo. I don't know if I want to talk about it in my car or at home, but I'm happy as fuck right now. I just feel good. You know, I'm so used to seeing movies that just make you feel like shit at the end. Not like shit, like makes you feel sad. And man, this one didn't do that. I'll tell you that much. Um, we'll talk about it in the car for a bit. All right, so we're home. I did talk about how I felt in the car, but I didn't like how I explained it there. I don't know, it just didn't look as clean as it will here. And also with a better mic quality and a slightly better layout and setup. But wow, you saw how I walked out of that theater. I was just happy. I don't usually feel that way when I'm watching anime movies. They usually just go for the liver, man. They just punch you and then that's it. But here, it was it was nice i just feel warm fuzzy butterflies everything you could think of that can make you feel good this is what this movie did to me um so the plot like the tldr for the plot would be there's this guy suno who's the main character over there with the black hair he has a dream to study abroad in mexico because he has something that he really wants to see but unfortunately he doesn't have the finances to do that so he's trying to get a scholarship so shout out to you man do you and uh jose was uh, unfortunately born without the ability to walk. So it's kind of an opportunity for him to make more money to watch her. <laughs> it's it's awesome, honestly. It sounds slightly corny, but you guys really have to watch it. I had so much fun watching this. The animation to me is what stuck. Uh, I licked my pop filter on accident, but the animation to me is what was the first thing that caught my eye in the beginning i was watching it and then they did this 3d thing started going around suno or whatever and i was like yo this movie has money yo shout out to studio bones you doing your thing over there so their personalities um suno's a nice little chill dude he'll uh just go with the flow work when he has to like obviously he has his goal to study abroad so you see him work very hard he works uh at a diving location i don't know what you guys call would call that but he works somewhere basically where you can dive a lot <laughs> i really don't know what it's called but yeah as to uh where jose she is kind of a shut-in but not by not because she wants to be it's because her uh grandma does not trust the world basically she, there's a lot of bad people out there they show it a lot like a lot of people bullying jose almost so her grandma's like nah we're just staying home and Jose doesn't like that, by the way. She really wants to go out and do things. 
But obviously, since her grandma is the one watching her, she kind of has to listen to her. So this part might be uh, slightly spoiler. So if you want to skip ahead, I'll put a timestamp on where you can come back. I just want to talk about some of my favorite scenes. Uh, one of my favorite scenes is when these two <laughs> first met for the first time. Yo, um, this man Suno was just walking home and <laughs> Jose comes from the sky and lands on him. And of course, her Sundere self was like, yo, get off me, you pervert and I and all that stuff. <laughs> That was just so corny, like cliche, but I love that type of stuff in the uh, anime. A lot of people hate it, but I love it. Another one of my favorite scenes is when um, Suno, it was like his first day of being Jose's caretaker and <laughs> Jose was being so petty and so extra. She had uh, Suno counting like the straws or whatever on the floor, basically like, it's almost like carpet or tile or whatever. She had him counting all of those and he was at like 3,000 and <laughs> it was hilarious. She's so quirky and extra. I love it. When Suno first took Jose to the sea for the first time. Oh, that was so beautiful too. I, oh, man, I was just so happy watching this movie. Oh my God. But that part really was like, oh my God. Just butterflies when he's carrying her in the water and they're spinning around and playing, bruh. That shit is so cute. I need me one of those. Man. Those are just three of the scenes. Obviously, like, I love the whole film. But, oh my god. Ah! I heard Eve. I remember in this trailer, actually, Eve was in it too. But when I saw him in the movie, or heard him in the movie, I was like, yo, Eve's really in here. Eve's come a long way. I just want to give him a quick shout out. You know, we love music over here, so yeah. I took away a lot. Obviously, it made me feel great, but... The main message I think they were trying to get out, to me, was delivered at least. And uh, what that would be is uh, if you have a goal, no matter how hard you think it is to reach, you can definitely do it with the help of someone and yourself. Like, that's what I felt like they were pushing for in this film. These two had huge goals, and even though at times it felt like they couldn't reach them, they were always there to lift each other up and put each other back on their feet to get back to they wanted to be and it's just that's a beautiful thing when it comes to relationships like well, not even relationships just friendships just you need someone who believes in your dream so you could have an easier time getting there no matter how hard it might be and so definitely always reach your goal and just never give up no matter how hard that path may be Personally, this movie was uh, couldn't have come at a better time. Like, I'm feeling unmotivated to do things that I wanted to do, and this movie just gave me a to like just do it, yo. Like, keep pushing through, cause uh, they go through a lot in this film, and if they can do it, kind of makes you feel like, yo, I can do it too. No matter what's going on, I even got a crystal. Like, I'm one of them. Like, I'm a weird dude now, yo. I got a crystal that's supposed to break through and reach my goals. I'm one of them. Let me show y'all real quick. Look at this. I'm one of those. It looks like a rock. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and my final rating, I'm not no Anthony Fantano or nothing, but I'm going to just give it a 10 because I, through the whole hour and 40 minutes or however long it was, I had a blast just the whole time uh, watching it. The music was great. The animation was great. The stories was great. The main characters were awesome. Like, there's not much I can complain as a fan I'm not really a critic, I'm more so a fan, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Sorry for rambling a bunch, but I love the film, what can I say? Y'all take care, have a good one, hit the sub button. See y'all next time.